Hi, today I'd like to talk about the Church's Sacrament of Reconciliation. A lot of people don't quite understand why we as Catholics confess our sins to another human being. But the reason we, we do, like virtually everything else we do, is uh, because it's very biblically based. And a couple places where we get uh, our belief on our priests being able to forgive sins um, from a couple different passages in the Bible. Uh, one, Jesus said to them again, he said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. And then he breathed on them and said, Whose sins you forgive are forgiven, and whose sins you retain are retained. And that's from John 21, verses 21 through 23. And then again in Scripture, it says, And all this is from God who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. And God gave them the power to forgive men's sins. And so... Uh, that's where we believe, uh, of course, that's been handed down, again, apostolically, uh, through the bishops to the priests. And the, pri the priests act as uh, persona Christi, as the person of Christ in that sacrament to us. Uh, and yes, the priests are sinners, but so were the apostles. Uh, nevertheless, Christ still uses them, just like he can use you and myself uh, to do his work as well, and we're certainly sinners. So, other reasons why the sacraments are so important. Yes, a lot of people will say that, yeah, I can go to, to Christ directly and confess my sins to him. Yes, you can, and that would not be contrary to the Catholic Church either. We would say the same thing. But to know for certain that you've been forgiven, um, you need the sacrament of reconciliation to know for certain. Otherwise, you may still think to yourself, well, maybe God hasn't forgiven me, maybe He didn't hear me, whatever you might think, but you really don't know. It's, it's similar to if you went to the doctor and you had a disease, or I'm sorry, if you didn't go to the doctor and you had some horrible disease and you read some self-help books, took some herbs and and it's, it told you in the book, well, if you do this, then you should be healed. So you take that, but you just assume that you're healed. You don't really know that, do you? Unless you were to go to a doctor and get examined scientifically by them and then have them give you a clean bill of health before you would know for certain. It's a similar type of thing. God, God knows our weaknesses as human beings and knowing that we need to be reaffirmed that yes, in fact, we have been healed. And so, in his infinite wisdom, he instituted the sacrament of reconciliation uh, through the biblical passages that I cited earlier. The other reason why the sacrament of reconciliation is so important is that a lot of the time we think that our sin is, is personal. That, well, uh, you know, and in fact, we think a lot of time that if our sin is personal, it's not sin at all. You hear the excuse frequently that, well, if I haven't hurt anybody else by what I'm doing, then how is that sin? An uh, example of that might be uh, masturbation. It might be any number of other things that people may do in the secrecy uh, of their homes or other places where people don't know about it. Maybe in, even in their the, th the thoughts in their own mind. So... Uh, our, our sins, however, are, are never personal. And the reason for that is that we as Christians are a member of a larger community, the church. We are members of Christ's body. And so, just like a body that might get uh, cancer, the cancer will make, it doesn't just make that one part of the body sick, it will make the entire body sick and eventually, if left unchecked, will consume the body and, and kill it. 
And our sin is similar. When we sin, we have the tendency to feel guilt. That's been built into us by God. We have a conscience that's built in to know right from wrong. And when we, uh, when we sin, because of our guilt and the shame that comes along with it, we will shy away from the mission we're called to as Christians to do God's work because we'll feel like we're not worthy. Uh, you know, I can't go out and I can't minister to people, I can't preach the gospel, I can't uh, preach Christ to others uh, because I'm, you know, I've done this, that, and the other thing and, you know, I just, I'm not, I'm, I'll be a hypocrite if I do that. We're all hypocrites to an extent. But the thing is, is that the sacrament of reconciliation heals us and cleanses us of that to uh, help us, uh, to encourage us more to go out and, and spread the gospel where we don't feel so shameful anymore. It clears us, it gives us a clean slate each time we go in and, uh, and have with a contrite heart and, and confess our sins in a manner that we uh, and fully intend to do whatever we can, everything we can to avoid those sins again. We may fall over and over again in, in the same sin, but tell me which is more healing and which is, gives people more of an incentive. People also say that Catholics, uh, well, they just have to go. They just have to go in and confess their sins. And they go out and do the same thing the next day. That is a complete fallacy. What's easier to go into your dark room and confess your, to, with yourself to God? Um, and then go out the next day and do it again, or which takes more courage and discipline and humility uh, to go in to another human being, to a priest, and to confess the same sin over and over again? Uh, which one's going to deter you from wanting to commit the sin uh, again? Um, that is an act of humility, and uh, it does have a, a healing effect after a while when you no longer want to have to keep confessing that sin. You quit doing the sin. But uh, in addition to that, you're receiving graces from God when you go in and you get healed through the sacrament. So, uh, back to the, the, the cancer analogy. When we're not living up, when we're not completely filled with God's graces, uh, our, our soul is kind of like a window to the Lord. And His graces, His gifts to us are like the sunlight shining through that window. And as we sin, it's like throwing little mud balls up on that window and before long it gets pretty clouded and we're not receiving too many of God's graces because we, when we sin we gradually separate ourselves further and further from God and people that are living in complete darkness don't like any light shining on them because uh, they can't justify the way that they're living with, in the light and so when we go in to the sacrament of reconciliation and we are absolved of our sins we get our slate wiped clean, our windows clean, and we're receiving all of God's graces again. And so we're that much more uh, effective in ministering to the rest of Christ's church, our brothers and sisters, our church community. And so no longer are we a cancer spot on the body of Christ. We are healed and we're able to go and do more of His work. So I hope that that helps to explain a little bit more as to why Catholics believe uh, that there is such a sacrament as the sacrament of reconciliation and uh, why we feel it's so important to take advantage of that. It's a great gift and hopefully if you're Catholic you'll take uh, take advantage of that, not take it for granted and uh, go to it frequently and if you're Protestant hopefully you'll, you'll understand a little bit more uh, why that sacrament is so special to us. God bless you and peace be with you.